even though it might not be entirely obvious, but in my line of work as a biologist, it's amazing how much maths and physics I've had to learn along the way. And if I were to recommend um, subject matter to, to students wanting to come into this line of work, I would really recommend you focus on, on maths and physics as well as the biology. Maths has actually become very important in my work. I'd say I initially got interested in this kind of work through biology, but actually I use maths more and more. And I remember sitting in A-level maths thinking, where am I ever going to need to use this? And now I use it all the time. It's, it's quite amazing. In terms of A-levels, maths has been absolutely vital to me. I, I, I use it whenever I'm sitting down to write a paper, um, whenever I'm trying to understand a data set. And it's really fantastic actually to see how maths applies to real world problems. So I'm using it really to solve questions on an earth scale rather than something fairly abstract, which perhaps it seems at school. If you continue with maths and physics, you'll never be short of a job, even if you don't end up in physics, if you choose that route. Essentially, employers are begging for physics graduates they'll practically fall over themselves to give you a job because you've got a logically trained mind. Although I'm a biologist, the maths is so crucial to what I do to help me analyse my data. And there's something almost magical about statistics, that I can work hard, I can collect all of my data and then I can run some tests on it and suddenly I've got my answer, my understanding as to what's happening in the world. I was always really interested in maths, but I thought I wanted to um, be an environmental scientist. And it was when I was doing my A-levels that a researcher from Southampton University came in and talked to us about his research on oil spills. And he was a mathematician and it suddenly dawned on me that you could do both. The A-levels I did were geography, history and physics, which is actually quite an unusual combination, but that was good because I was really interested in the environment and so I was, you know, geography was my, my first choice subject, but it was quite good to do the physics because that got me interested in the sciences in general and it also helped me become a lot more numerate. I always really enjoyed biology, but it's actually been quite surprising how useful the chemistry and the maths has been. Working in a laboratory, you have to keep your cultures alive, you have to endlessly make up the correct things for them to grow in, so you need the language of chemistry, you need to be able to confidently make molar solutions and <laughs> weigh out certain things and understand which chemicals you put to good. I'm very much one that didn't necessarily have a plan per se. I very much believe in doing what you're interested in, so throughout my academic training, I've taken the subjects I'm interested in more so necessarily than the ones I'm good at, um, so that you've always got that desire and drive. So the job I've ended up doing is one that I've ended up doing because it's a subject I enjoy.